Today, people look upon pain, wrong, and injustice towards their neighbor, unaffected. You know, when we say neighbor, your neighbor could be your enemy, could be your friend, could be those who are not share the same faith with you. The Bible says, love them all. But today, because they are not share the same faith with you, when you see them in problem, you, you ignore them. You look other side. Because they are not share the same faith with you. You are a Christian, they are not Christian. Whatever problem they have, you look upon, you look other side. No. You have to rescue. Love your neighbor as yourself. If your spirit, I mean your heart, whatever name you call it, your heart, you call it conscience, is alive to Christ, you always be there for your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, if your conscience is alive to Christ, you will always be there for your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. So that's why you say, is that that? Hey, it's in the hospital. <laughs> My prayer has answered. Uh, what kind of prayer is that? Eh? It's in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. No. If it's your enemy, the Bible has its back up there. We say, I will set a table before you. In the presence of who? If your enemy is not there, the table will be useless. If your enemy is no longer live and the table is set before you with a century of life on the table, it's good for your enemy to see what you become. What they thought you cannot become is good for your enemy to see. The thought you cannot become this, you cannot become that. It is better they see for themselves. That may change them in win their soul. But all this. Uh, Deadness, heart, die, kill, all. Oh. oh, I will set a table before you in the presence of your enemy. On the table, essentials of life, those things you need for life. Peace, comfort, I mean, prosperity. Good example of what we are talking about is we here today. If we begin to examine the heart, the conscience of everyone, and look at the past of our conscience, at least 50 to 40 percent that are here today ever thought they would come here. You have a different impression about TV Joshua. You stand a position about TV Joshua in the past. But today, you are alive to see that it's your friend. It's not your enemy. If you have died, then, will you be able to see this? If I have died, then, will I be here today? Why? Ask me the way out for you. I want to hear your voice. Pray for your enemy. Prayer from your heart, not from your lips. So if you choose the part of praying for your enemy, you have a great relief. 
because you are running to defeat your enemy, to overcome your enemy, it has taken you to many places. Spiritually, physically, morally, financially, you spend a lot of money. It takes you sleepless nights, fear, anxiety, pressure. Every bad, 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 bad thing that happened to you, when you have nightmare, you attribute it to your enemy. The pain you are going through is not your enemy that is going through it. It's you that is going through the pain. Why can't you ignore your enemy and move forward? Pray for them. You are the one going through the pain. If someone calls you and says, I cross you your leg and you started walking immediately like this. You are going through the pain. At the same time, you are pursuing him. You are going through the pain. The person that cross you your leg, you are going through that pain. At the same time, the person that cross you your leg, you are, you are fighting him too, too bad too. You walk like this. When you want to pray, say, God, this man, I curse him. This man, I curse him. Oh, Jesus, I curse him. So when you begin to chase your enemy, you would automatically forget your condition in which you are. Because it's not possible to look too side. I'm looking here. And at the same time, looking here. If I'm looking here, I cannot look here at the same time. So if I'm going through pain that that enemy has caused, and I'm going through it, now the pain, and at the same time, I'm pursuing that enemy, but your enemy that caused it, I will ignore this pain. The pain will be there, but how to take care of myself will be ignored. This is why your situation is persistent, continuing. The situation that you are supposed to, to go through within a week, you are on need for the past one year because you ignore your condition and you are pushing your enemy. Enemy is something that you should define. I'm here, my enemy. If I now ask for progress and I have that progress, I will meet enemy in that position again. I've left that enemy. The bigger your success, the bigger your enemy. Why are you wasting your time when you know it's a normal life? It's a normal thing. It's a way of life. My trial cannot be your trial because of my position. I will not go through your trial. You go through your trial according to your position. And I will go through my trial according to my position. It is our position that attracts trial. What attracts trial? I can hear you. Eh? Your position in life attracts persecution, attracts trial. If your position is big, it will attract big trial. If your position is small, it will attract small trial. And you always pray for big position, big blessing. So that big blessing will attract big trial. You don't want trial, you don't want success in life. When people talk about you, when you go here, they say, ah, it's a foolish man. Go there, it's a foolish man. Here, it's a foolish woman. You know, it's a recognition. So please, what we are trying to say is that what you are going through should not rule your life. What you are going through does not matter. But what matter? Whom you are. 
It is your situation that subjected you to what you are now today. Viewers, wherever you are, listen to me. Don't ignore your conscience. 